you know, on the other thing in terms of diverse stories, although they shouldn't be diverse anymore, but it really is a female centric centric story. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, directed by a woman and it's uh, the three leads of the movie are women, the first three on the call sheet are women. And so, you know, and not only is it about opening up the door to Russia, but it's opening up the story of really having female driven stories. And, and it's not something that where it feels like a political movie or we hang a lantern on. It's just that this character is, you know, just equally badass to any of them that have come before in solo movies. And so it's high time that she gets her own movie. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. You know, it was only maybe, what, 10 years ago where people thought, oh, you couldn't have a superhero movie with a female lead. And, you know, those kind of projects went away for, for a time. And it's only now that we've seen, I, I would still say, David, it's a handful, right? And, and hopefully this is a jumping off point. And because it's coming from the MCU, not unlike Captain Marvel, which I loved as well, but now, you know, sort of this is the second one where the lead character is a female and now we're going to hopefully tell more and more of these stories uh, and get more and more of these perspectives. Yeah. And I think that, you know, I'm very proud to be a part of these films in that way. I do think they're changing the landscape and not in a way that feels, you know, I think a lot of people get pissed off at Hollywood people for, you know, when we give big speeches or go on Instagram and say our feelings, because they're like, you should just entertain us or whatever. And I, I understand the sentiment behind that. Um, uh, because, you know, they want to be enmeshed in a fantasy world when they go and see you. And I completely understand that. But the most interesting thing is the subtle, subtle cultural ways that Marvel is influencing your fantasies to say that your fantasies can contain people that don't look like you, that don't talk the same language as you, that aren't the same gender as you. And I think that's, um, you know, that's quite special to have an organization really care about that especially one at their level making the kinds of money that they're making and having to satisfy the things that they're making but the fact of the matter is if you know they just make things extremely well and so and they're just very interested in like any superhero i think changing the world for the better and uh, i think they're doing that on a very subtle cultural level